Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch work on Wednesday. <laughs> so disclaimer, my hair is wet. I just took a shower. So it's wet and unbrushed because I can't brush it until it dries. <laughs> but uh, anyways, also you're also going to see me in the shirt a few times because I'm trying to save time today and record. There's two videos coming out today and one tomorrow, so I'm trying to get them all done at the same time. <laughs> But anyways, this is Whip Wednesday, so my whips are the same whips I've been showing you guys because I've been trying to get things done. But I also have a few new whips that I want to start soon that are Christmas related. They're not Christmas-like decorations, but they're Christmas gifts. So I need to get them started so that I have them done. <laughs> but first, I want to show you the update on my scarf. I had hoped to have more of this done, but last night I sat down to work on it and the cake part that I was working on was a tangled mess. So I spent probably a good 45 minutes untangling that and <laughs> it was driving me nuts but I would untangle it enough to crochet a little and then I'd have to untangle it some more and crochet a little and it took forever to get just a few rows done and then I got the tangle undone and then I was like okay I'm, I'm a little tired of working on this <laughs> but this is the pattern by Pamela at Pamela's Adoring Crochet it is a free video tutorial on her YouTube channel I'll link it below it's called I think the bubble stitch uh scarf or something like that and I'm using an H hook which is a five millimeter gives them a nice little comfort grip uh Amore it's called a Clover Amore that was gifted to me all oh, years ago I love these hooks <laughs> and I'm using um Mandela Ombre I got yarn wrapped on it from where I was untangling it um Mantra I love Mandela Ombre yarn and this color is so pretty I love blues and greens together so I did use that yarn to make my ear warmer which is actually over here somewhere uh a few days ago last week sometime and then so the leftover of that cake I started this scarf with so the leftover it is starts there and it goes to this light blue right here and then I just went ahead and attached the new cake I didn't color control or nothing because uh, I'm not the kind of person who cares about that and a scarf is gonna be like wrapped around your neck so you're not gonna be able to tell where the pattern ends and stops you know so it started right here so it's gonna repeat the dark colors before it goes back to the light and I'm fine with that I don't care <laughs> But this green color is what was tangled up. It was this new uh, cake. I pulled out the middle of it looking for the center pool and I made a mess. <laughs> I pulled out way too much of it and then it got like wrapped around itself and it was all twisted up. And like I said, it took almost an hour just to get this much done. <laughs> one repeat done. A little less than one repeat because one row was uh, that light blue color. And uh, it was a mess, but I got it untangled and I got the rest of it wound around there. So I'm going to use that up and then it should just be center pull from then on out. Um, so I'm hoping that this is probably about half done now. So I should have, I should have a little bit of yarn left over. And if I do, I might try to make a beanie with it. Or I might try to make a hat or something for either Jesse or June. I try to use up whatever's left. You know, I'll have to just judge it when I get there. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get this done. Uh, it's been, it's felt like it's been taking me forever to do anything, but I am just busy and I've been working on a Halloween thing like crazy. <laughs> and, um, I'll be glad to get the Halloween thing completely done, which it almost is. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Um, and then I can move on to other things. <laughs> but this is my scarf and I'm hoping to get some good work on in the next few days, maybe finish it up. And let me stick my hook in there so I don't lose it. So now my Halloween thing. I told you the other day it was done and then I remembered I forgot to make the appliques to decorate it with. So last night, after the scarf debacle, <laughs> I sat down, I was watching some uh, murder calls, I think it's called, on ID, on Discovery Plus. <laughs> uh, I think it's called When Murder Calls or something like that. It's like a, it plays 911 calls and then it shows like the story of what happened. But anyway, so I sat down and I made some pumpkins and the little stems. And I wanted to make a witch, like a uh, silhouette for the moon. And I could only find one pattern for the thing I was looking for, but it was only in a chart and I'm not good at all reading charts and I didn't want to sit down trying to make my own thing up because it would have taken too long. So I just got a cat. So I'm going to show you the pumpkins first. I think I made five. And instead of doing green stems, I did brown ones because, you know, they're picked pumpkins that are decorations. So they're brown and rotten or whatever, you know, the stems. So there's my pumpkins. I made two big ones and three little ones, and I hot glued them on there <laughs> because uh, it's easy that way. And then the cat, I made it like it's sitting on the roof, and then the moonlight's in the background. And, uh, I guess I could have glued that on there a little bit better, <laughs> but it's a cat silhouette. 
I thought that was so cute. It's like sat on the roof. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> I was just, I looked at it and I was like, that looks so good. Don't ever, and everyone was agreeing with me. And then I also lined it. Look at that. I actually got it lined. Now I didn't crochet line it on there. I just hot glued it. <laughs> so I cut a piece of uh, fleece the size of the back of the project. And I just went around it very slowly and glued it on there. And then any of the overhang, I just snipped off with scissors. So it's not like a perfect job. There's probably some slack in it, but the um, point is it's lined, so you can't see any of my ends I didn't weave in. <laughs> I just knotted up, and uh, it'll set good against the wall. It's because it's nice and soft, you know. And also, next year, I'm going to enter in my county fair, because <laughs> since I finished it after this fair was over, I can enter in next year's. So it'll be nice and tidy back. So now I just got to get Devin, there's hair all over it, <laughs> to uh, cut the dowel down for me and sand the end that he cut so that it's smooth. And I think I might paint the dowel. Because it's just, you know, like, uh, pine colors, like a pine dowel. Um, so I paint it white just so it goes with the top of the thingy. And then i got to figure out how to hang it. Uh, someone suggested I use, like, curtain, um, you know, the little hooks that stick into the wall that you hang curtains on. But I live in an apartment, so I don't really need to be drilling holes in the wall. So we got to figure out how I'm going to hang it up. I haven't got that far yet. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and then I just got stuff it with candy. So I'm going to go shopping uh, probably maybe today or Friday or something. I don't know. Thursday or Friday. One of these days. <laughs> the next few days. And get a bunch of different candies to put in there for Jesse. And um, he can start, you know, pulling one out on Saturday, which is October 1st. So this is finished. My whole part of this is done. <laughs> I did the appliques to decorate it and put it on there. And I lined it. So now we're going to do is hang it up and stuff it. So... It's only taken me like two months. <laughs> I'm working on it slowly for two months. But you know, this whole bobble part was a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do bobble stitches and it's a um, like a yarn eater. And uh, working on a graph while dealing with an infant is not easy. I only could do like a couple rolls a day, if that. And then I had to make all the pockets. And then all the gluing on was a lot. <laughs> but it's done and now we can use it for years and years and years to come. And I'm excited. So now we have a Valentine's Day countdown, a Christmas one, and a Halloween one. And now I want to make an Easter one eventually, like the like two weeks maybe up to Easter. Since Easter does move around, it can't really have the dates on it. But it can be how many days until Easter. Um, I think it'd be fun. And it might, I think it'd be fun also to do a birthday one. That's like maybe a week countdown to the kids' birthdays where they get little treats up until their birthday. And then I thought that would be fun. So I might work on that <laughs> next year sometime. But there's that. All right. So now upcoming whips. I want to make two Christmas projects for uh, Christmas <laughs> as gifts. And they're going to be, um, they're for the, the kids in my life that aren't my kids that I have to shop for. And there's just two of them. It's my nephew and then my, uh, she's basically my niece. <laughs> um, she's kind of like a niece sister-in-law because she was a niece and then she was adopted. So it's just, it's confusing. But anyways, we call her, uh, Jessie's cousin aunt because <laughs> of, uh, you know, she was the cousin and then she got adopted. So now she's the aunt. But anyways, um, <laughs> um, she will be almost 15 for Christmas. And so I'll be, we've been giving her gift cards and money for the last few years because she'd rather spend it on something, you know? So I'm, I want to make her and my pop-up a picture if I can remember because she likes sushi and she loves cats. So I found this pattern and it's by all of it string and ding, ding, um, and it's a sushi cat. <laughs> she had this pattern a long time ago, and then she like she recently re um re, re like vibed it. Um, so I want to make that, and then give her that with a gift card or cash or whatever. And then my nephew Ben, he is eleven. And last year we just got him a Fortnite gift card. <laughs> I think it was called V Bucks or something like that. So I'm, I'm sure we'll probably get him something similar to that this year. I asked my sister, so whenever she gets back to me, um. Well, I want to make him some sort of whatever. It depends on what he asks for. Uh, I want to make him something that goes kind of along with that and then money or a gift card. And which stinks because I love shopping. I love Christmas shopping for people. I love picking out gifts for people. But, you know, I got my two kids for that. Um, and I get to shop for June this year, which is so exciting. Um, and I get to do two stockings this year. I'm so excited. <laughs> but anyways. Um, and then uh, also we draw names on my side of the family. So I got my stepfather, which I already know I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him his fishing lessons for a year because he fishes all the time. 
And he just recently was talking about how he didn't have it this year because he didn't have enough money to get it. So I'm going to have to have my mom help me with that because I have to have his social security number and all that to get um, fishing lessons, which stinks. Because, <laughs> you know, you can't surprise someone with it. But uh, I'm going to get him that and then some fishing stuff. And then Devin got my brother. So it's going to be really interesting to see what he buys. We, we draw names early. <laughs> Because, uh, mostly because of me and Devin. Because we like to have our Christmas shopping done before the end of October. So that we can enjoy November, December without the stress of Christmas shopping. Without counting our kids. Because I usually, I'm like, okay, I'm done shopping. And then I go to the store and I'm like, oh, Jesse would love that. <laughs> you know, so I usually Christmas shop for him up until Christmas. And then now this year it's going to be him in June. <laughs> but, um, anyways, we draw names super early, usually in the summertime. So that we can uh, plan ahead, you know, and start buying things. And then on Darren's side of the family, everybody's growing up now, so we don't get to buy toys for people anymore. Um, like I said, uh, the almost 15-year-old's the youngest one now, so it's no fun. <laughs> I like buying uh, Christmas gifts for people. I need to do a Christmas swap with someone this year. I haven't uh, lined up one yet. I got my Halloween swap. I'm so excited. I'm going to start it Saturday. And yeah, so I don't know. But that's my upcoming plan is that sushi fit of sushi sushi cat and i'm gonna start it uh pretty soon maybe today if i get a free time because i think it's only white and black and orange can't think if there's any other colors on it i don't know much about sushi because i don't eat sushi <laughs> i don't eat fish at all i have never liked fish at all um i did try flounder though when me and devon went down to gulf shores <laughs> in 2016 I did try a piece of flounder and it was all right, but I, I just, to me, all the fish stuff tastes the same. But anyways, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> so I'm going to make that cat because I, I know she's going to love it because she loves sushi. Like when she gets to go out with her dad and stuff, they go to get sushi because she loves sushi. And she loves cats. They have four or five cats, I think, at their house. And every time, you know, they constantly like, we're not getting no more cats. And then they end up rescuing a kitten that randomly shows up or something. And it's so cute. But, uh. So I know she'll like that for sure. And then um, money, of course. <laughs> you know, every teenage girl likes money so they can buy whatever they want. And then I got to figure out for Ben. I got to figure out. I'll, I'll talk to my sister. But anyways, that's my plans. <laughs> I'm sure I'll make some other Christmas stuff um, as it gets closer. I always make ornaments every year. So I don't know. But those are my immediate plans. And um, I've been wanting to make another Frankenstein too. So I need to find some kind of pattern for that. But that's what I'm working on this Wednesday, and it's a really long watch to work on Wednesday. So let me know if you continue to watch me this far, uh, what you guys are working on today. Leave it in the comments below, and be f uh, feel free to share any links or people's YouTube channels, any of that stuff. And uh, also let me know what you're making for dinner tonight, because I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I do. We're making steaks. I forgot. I laid out. We bought some clearance steaks weeks ago. We had one more pack of two. They're like, um, <clears throat> they're not filet mignons, I don't think. Maybe they are. I can't remember, but they got bacon wrapped around them. <laughs> and we bought them on clearance a while ago. We cooked one pack of them. And then when I was digging around the freezer yesterday, I was trying to see what we needed for groceries this week. Uh, I seen what we had meat-wise. And I found them, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> so I laid them out. So Devin can cook them because he's really good at cooking steaks um, tonight. So we're having some discount steaks <laughs> and probably uh, french fries or something, whatever else we got in the freezer. And then we'll make Jesse something because he don't, he don't like steaks yet. I'm sure he will one of these days, but not, not yet. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I got to film a Happy Meal video. And then I can finally, you'll see me after that in a different shirt. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. It's early in the morning for me now. But by the time I edit this and get out, it might be later. But um, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.